I'm Lisa. It's day nine of the 12 days of Christmas at Lori's Country Cottage. Let's start with thread. Well, you know that Aurifil thread is quilter's thread. So we have some great little sets for you today. Aurifil thread comes from the Mako region of Egypt and it's a long strand Egyptian cotton. And then it's manufactured in Italy. This is 50 weight thread which is quilter's thread. When you use the right tools, you get the best results. So 50 weight Aurifil thread will leave your sewing machine lint free and you'll have flat and accurate seams. So first up is the necessities kit. It's got white, black, a light gray, and then a cream color. Those are your staples. Every quilter needs them. And then, if you've already got those, we'll expand your horizons. We've got the Milan Gray set. So light, medium, and dark gray. These are the actual colors, although it hasn't come because we had to order it right from Italy. And then we have the Verona Mauve set. It's got a medium taupe to a medium mauve and then kind of a darker mauvey brown, again, great blending for piecing. Then we've chosen two colors in the large cones. The large cones are still 50 weight. We have aluminum and sea biscuit. Each of these cones is like buying four and a half spools of thread. So price-wise, it's like getting a cone for free. Now, if you have several spools of Aurifil thread, you might consider the Aurifil thread box. It is made to fit those spools and it keeps everything organized. We also have the Snappy Stacker. This is a thread case that fits our Isochord thread. It's so neat because these simply snap apart. So you can just keep adding more and more boxes and build your tower of thread. Then when you go to class, you can just take the 10 spools you want, throw the lid on top, and that's all you need to take. So if you get two sets, you'll have four trays to fit your isocord thread. That's the snappy stacker. We also have a great little cleaning tool for you today from the Gypsy Quilter, the nook and cranny cleaning tools. These are silicone tipped. They look like mascara brushes, but they get into every nook and cranny of your sewing machine and pick up the lint and the dust. And it sticks to that silicone tip and comes right out of your machine. Well, I have something else to show you, but we need to zoom in. Wait till you see this. I found this at market and I love it. Your essential color card deck comes with 200 cards, plus this handy insert. It shows you color families and color plans, your neutrals and your gray scales. And then you get the chart with all of the card colors in case things get mixed up and a little color wheel. But this card deck is meant to replace your color wheel. I thought I'd show you a little bit of how it works. So let's work with the purple. How would I use my color card deck to help me pick out fabric? So I'm just gonna grab a stack of cards and see what I think might match. Those are too blue. That's not quite right. Oh, you know, that one's pretty good. What's that one like? Well, I like that one, 14E. So if I choose 14E, that's a pretty good match. Now I can go to the shelves at Lori's Country Cottage, take this color card, and find something that might be a tone darker or a tone lighter or something that I think matches well to go with my fabric. You'll notice on the back of the card, every card has a color number and then a letter. So this letter E means that it is a tone. So this has gray added to it. 
The other letters B and C would show you a tint, F and G for shades. And then to keep my cards in order, I would simply just put it back in the right spot and then go ahead and look at some other colors. So let's take a look at the green. I think green's down at this end. Way too yellow. There's too much lime, that's too yellow. You know, that one's not bad, maybe a little bit yellow. Geez, that looks like, ah, I think we have a winner. Ooh, that one's pretty good too. So just a little bit darker, but the same color. So that's 3E. And now I could take this out to the floor and find a fabric that's similar to that color to match with my fabric. You also get in your essential color card deck, neutrals and grayscale. So there's a card that's white, no color, then black, whoop, then black. There we go. There are your neutrals, white to black, and then six grays in between. And then they do same thing with browns but in three color um, combinations. So you'll have red browns, yellow browns, and blue browns. And this just helps you if you take this card and you go to the browns on the shelf, what complements or goes with this so that you're not picking out a red brown when really you're looking for a yellow brown. Again, the set comes with 200 cards and ideas for complementing the color that you've chosen. This was a great find at Quilt Market. It replaces my color wheel, and I actually found it really fun and easy to go looking for the right card to match my fabric. Day 9 has some great quilting tools for you. We have Quilters Preferred Aurifil Thread in the Necessities box in Verona Mauve, and Milan Gray. The Milan Gray is a pre-order because it's coming from Italy. We also have two large spools, the aluminum and Seabiscuit. Then we have the Aurifil thread box to help you organize and store your thread. And then the OESD Snappy Stacker thread box for your isocord thread. We've got the nifty nook and cranny cleaning tools to get all the nooks and crannies of your sewing machine clean and one of my favorite finds for market, the Essential Color Card Deck. So time to download your free pattern and join me tomorrow for day number 10.